To start, let's get logged in on the HiMama website using our email address and the password we set up when we first started with the program. As soon as you log into the HiMama app administrative portal, you'll get a quick snapshot of everything going on at the center. You can see the current attendance, general activity, and an overview of the classrooms. We'll revisit this later. To start off, we're going to run through the navigation along the sidebar on the left. Starting from the top, we have the dashboard. If you see just the icons, you can click the three lines to expand the view of the icon's description. First up is the Home button, which will bring you back to the dashboard. Below that, you have the Classroom menu. This will allow you to switch between classrooms in your center. Below that, you have the Classroom Roster menu, which you can use to navigate directly to a given class's roster and enrollment information. Continuing down is the Classroom Actions menu. This submenu allows you to access a variety of classroom-specific features, including the ability to add an activity entry, view daily reports, journals, activity planners, and calendars. By selecting one of these features, I can then choose which class I'd like to review. Next up, we have the Messaging Center. This is where you'll be able to send messages out to parents. If you've opted into our Staff Management feature, you'll also have the option to send messages to your staff here as well. Below Messaging, we have our Contacts list, where you can view and manage the primary and emergency contacts for kids in your center. If you've opted into our Billing feature, you'll see it below. This is where you can manage tuition plans, see credit ledgers, and manage invoices. Next up, if you've opted into our Staff Management feature, you find its submenu, where you can adjust the staff settings for each of your classrooms. After that, we have menus and calendars, where you can set up recurring food menus and activity calendars. Beneath that, we have reports. This section is really valuable as an administrator because you can pull all sorts of different reports here as needed. Another feature that you can access within HiMama is the parent sign-in. Please note that this feature is only available when accessing HiMama through a web browser, not the app. Selecting a classroom from here will open a check-in page in a separate link. This new page is a custom link for your center and will allow parents to check in their children without navigating through your HiMama account. You can require a parent to either provide their name, initials, or an electronic signature when checking in their child. This option can be configured through the Logins and Configuration page, which we'll get to next. Parent sign-in information is accessible from your attendance records as well. Lastly, we have the Logins and Configurations page. This is really helpful if you're just getting started with the program. There are quite a few options in HiMama that are customizable for you as an administrator, starting with our center settings. You can set your center number and time zone. And with that, we've covered the basic navigation of HiMama. Up next, we'll take a deeper dive into some of the features we've just talked about.